Hello, it is Tuesday night. Um, I'm dying. So, I'm having my comfy jams. Um, I'm doing something different for dinner. So the last, so backstory to like 2006. Um, I slipped and fell at Target as walking out, as carrying a chair. I don't know why I was doing that, but there was like liquid coming from the bathroom going out the door and I slipped and fell on my hip. I caused permanent soft tissue damage. Um, and then <laughs> a year later at a different Target, I slipped and fell there on the same hip and it caused more damage. That was on my left hip. So every now and then it flares up and it really hurts. Um, and I used to have tramadol and cyclobenzaprine, which is a muscle relaxer because it's that bad. So it's been hurting the last few days, but like I can usually muscle through it. I have bruises on my hips right now because I'll hold my hip, I'll push in my hip and then I can walk. So last night, this is a lean on the microwave also because I can't stand. I was like, oh, I'll be this sassy lady with my sassy hair and my skinny body and my muscles. I should shave my legs because you can't have, it's the glares on me. You can't have all this with hairy legs. So I bent over to shave my legs and I got stuck. And then my muscles started spasming. Like the only thing I compare it to, but not because that's like a bazillion times worse. There's so much light. Are um like contractions. My muscle was like contracting with my nerve, and it would like I'd start shaking and I, it'd catch my breath. So I finally took one of my muscle relaxers that I haven't taken in, gosh, a couple years. <laughs> They're probably not even good. Um, and I was finally able to sleep from like midnight to 2 a.m. and then I woke up with them spasming again. And I'm like, I can't take care of the kids. I can't do it. There's no way, I can't even stand. I was like a seven shaped, so I was bending over. Um, so Josh stayed home today and was me and I just slept all day. And um, I finally took a gabapentin on top of another muscle relaxer, which just knocked me out. And it finally stopped spasming, but it still really hurts. There's a balloon behind me. So tonight for dinner, I hobbled downstairs and I have a few freezer meals left. I need to restock those because of, of nights like this. So this is why having stuff in your freezer is important because you never know when something's gonna happen and you need to grab something quick. Um, so they've been, um, I found some stuffed peppers that I had made a while ago with food pantry peppers. And I believe they have quinoa in them, so we're still, we're still going strong. They are. They've been cooking for an hour, but they are still frozen. So, this is what they look like. I'm going to put them back in for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to take them out, throw some cheese on the top. This one's still frozen right here. And then I'm just going to make a simple salad, and that's dinner. But I do believe... Yeah, they have quinoa in them, so we're still following the plan. They have quinoa, tomato, I don't know what else. But I'm going to throw these back in, and I'll see you in a little bit. So this is dinner. It's nothing fancy. Um, the middle one's having some stuffed bell pepper and a little bit of pizza with a salad and an app some apple. Big one has apple and pizza. Baby has her pizza, her. Here. Bell, bell pepper, some avocado, and some carrot. Come here. Have your dad go help you. Come on, let's go. Go get Andy. Go tell Andy it's dinner. And then, um, this is our food. I have one stuffed bell pepper. He has two. In these, like I said, are tomatoes, carrots, bell pep, or sorry, squash, and quinoa. And then the salad has some parm on it, avocado, it's cabbage, and romaine with some cilantro, carrots, and tomatoes. That's a, your mom's dying dinner. See you tomorrow. Hopefully walking a lot better.